okay, I've got a chance at having a productive year again now? Yeah, this a, lot, a lot of guys um, left last year, so it was for me, um, they told me I, I got to step up and be, you know, be a better role model, leader, whatever it is, and I'm doing whatever it takes to help the team. So, Is it tough knowing that touchdown doesn't count? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's all right. It's whatever. I can't really control that. I'm just controlling whatever I can do for the next – multiple games that we play. And then with the game canceled, was that, did, did, how did you handle that, the delay? Were you, what did you do? Um, I just tried to keep focus on the game, uh, tried to keep my game plan in my mind, tried to keep focus went through, throughout the delay. So you're not bummed out about that loss or anything? Uh, I mean, it's, I can't really control it. You can't control the weather, but I mean, it does suck for our team, um, but we're just going to move forward from nice that. Nice highlight, though. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was really nice. How well executed was that play? Because it looked like Akeem had a good block. Yeah, and yeah. Eaton had a good block. And yeah. You were, it looked like he might not have been touched. <laughs> yeah, um, Matt and Keem had a great block. Um, that just really helped me out. So, shout out to them. Go through the whole process in the offseason. Coach talked a little bit about it. was kind of diet and strength and conditioning coming together. Right. How did that uh, – maybe change for you versus the first couple of years you were around. Um When I first got here, um, it was morally about gaining weight and putting on some weight because I think I was like 160-some pounds when I came in. And um, just getting my body, like, controlled to the college environment and the college playing. And I think two years I was, like, going through that experiment of, like, how do I feel about playing? And once I came, I, like, I put my mindset after my sophomore year to, like, get my body right and get comfortable playing on the field. And that's what I did. How big of a game, I mean, you're not from this state and everything, yeah, but right. I mean, Coach Campbell said that first year was a very humbling game. You know, yeah. your freshman year, you come back, have a good chance last year, doesn't mm -hmm. do it. You know how big it is for everyone else. Has this been, even though every game's weighted equally, a game that kind of teaches you a lot in your first two seasons here? Uh, yeah, uh, when I first got here, I didn't really know, like, the rivalry, the experience or whatever it is um, that the game. And then once I first played in two games, you know, it's, it's really big in the state of Iowa. And, um, I'm thankful to play in it. It's one of the biggest college rivalries today. And um, it's just a great game to play in. Uh, here or in Kinnick, it's, it's a great environment. How much did you guys grow from that? first loss there because I heard that Coach Campbell got yeah. on you guys pretty good. <laughs> um, we just grow, you know, try to be a better football team, you know, discipline, things like that. And um, it showed in the second game and then um, we're just going to keep competing every day. You've played in Thanks. a lot of stadiums. Which is the most rabid, maybe, stadium environment you've ever played like in? Like hostile? Yeah, hostile. Um, Maybe intimidating. You look up yeah, the crowd, so Kinnick, Kinnick's definitely, definitely top five. I would say uh, West Virginia is a pretty tough place to play too. Oklahoma is a pretty tough place. I mean, everywhere we play, I think it's really tough. But Kinnick's probably definitely top five. How? What was Oklahoma like last year? Um, it was. It was. Uh, I mean, I know you <laughs> shut them down after a while. But, you know. It was a great environment to play in. It was loud. The fans were energetic. Um, it was just. It was. A, it's nice to play. Places like that are just amazing to play. A nice setting. The stadium is really nice. What was it like when you first stepped into in Iowa City? Oh uh, wow! <laughs> um, the fans there. They're crazy. They're. They're, they're energetic, they're, they love their team, and um, that's that's something that helps them. And that's probably, a lot of teams can probably say this, that's probably one of the toughest places to play in the country. How much, is, how much has Coach Campbell drawn on his previous experience at Toledo with having a game canceled to help you guys rebound from that and get ready for this? Um, he just told us his experience with it and uh, how it can help us. And we just took that mindset that um, just let's go back to work the next day and just keep getting better. How would you characterize your season last year? How would 